In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep and maintain perfect reef parameters. Hey guys, welcome back. Good to see you here. New viewers, my name is Tom. I have 25 years of reef keeping experience, so subscribe and hit the bell if you like the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep and maintain as close to perfect parameters that you can. A few videos ago, I did a video called Problem Solved, and in it, it was a video about troubleshooting your aquarium, but I didn't get into how to maintain perfect parameters. There is a little bit of a range, and I'll explain that in the video. I'm in front of this tank because it's brand new. We all start out at the same place, guys. We've mixed salt water to 1.025. We've cycled our live rock for at least four to six weeks, or we've tested so we have zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and zero nitrate. Here's a list of things we'll go over step by step so you can keep perfect parameters. The key is to keep the tank as close to when you first started as you can. It takes dedication and patience to keep your parameters where they should be. Do a weekly water change of 20% with a refugium that's keeping my nitrates at zero. If I didn't have a refugium, I would probably do upwards of 30 to 40% water change weekly. This is just a little visual analogy. Which would you rather have your reef inhabitants live in? The city? Or the country? I can't stress enough the importance of water change. In this illustration, let's just say the blue colored water there is your reef tank with let's just say 30 parts per million nitrate in it and now we're going to do a water change it's sunday you're going to do your water change this is almost a 50 percent water change let's say the measuring cup is fresh salt water rodi everything's perfect so now we're adding back, we're doing our water change. And as we add the water, what happens here? Here you can see the value of water change. Even at a 50% change, you can still see that there's quite a bit of nitrate left in the water. You can't be skipping weeks with your water change. I've always used a skimmer to help keep my nitrates low. In my opinion, guys, it's a necessity to have a skimmer. In this tank, I needed to put a skimmer in. There's no place the water can flow into another compartment to oxygenate. So the skimmer is also great for oxygenation. Just remember, a skimmer doesn't remove nitrate. It just removes the compounds from the water that could become nitrate. It's also important to use Kalkwasser in your ATO. It replaces calcium and it helps to stabilize pH. It's also been found to reduce phosphate. I can only say that after I started two-part dosing, my parameters, in particular my DKH, pH, and calcium got very stable and haven't changed since I started the two-part dose. I can show you this picture of my 20 gallon tank before I started to two part dose. At 20 gallons, you need to two part dose your aquarium. You can do it with water change, but I've just noticed a large difference in my aquarium when I started to two part dose. It's important not to overload your tank with animals, and this can only be determined over time by testing frequently for high nitrate and phosphate. Now when I start to add animals to this tank, I'm going to go slow. It's great to have a lot of animals in your tank, but you can't have too many with a nano reef. In my 20 gallon reef, I have four fish, a peppermint shrimp, and a sea cucumber. 
In this five gallon, I'll probably only put one, maybe two small fish in here, a goby, something small, maybe a shrimp in here also. If you can find a place for a refugium in your tank, I would do so. It completely helps aid in nitrate reduction and phosphate reduction. If you have any empty compartment in the back of your aquarium, I would completely recommend running a mini refugium. I know that's what's keeping my nitrate level to zero. Let me illustrate what I mean by nitrate at zero. It doesn't mean I don't have any nitrate in my water. It just means that it's being used up before it gets too high. The yellow glass represents your aquarium at zero nitrate or equilibrium. Your tank is using up all the nitrate that's produced. The red measuring cup represents adding extra nitrate through the means of adding too much food, extra bio load, and anything that cannot be removed from your aquarium. And you can see what happens here. So you're in excess of zero for what reason? You might have asked yourself a question in the past. Why are some reef tanks so much better? It comes down to your reef parameters and maintenance. In my opinion, the most valuable thing that you can do to keep perfect parameters are water change. All right, that does it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. New viewers, subscribe, hit the bell. And like always, have a great day, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next one.